Okay, the next part I think we should go from here is let's set up for our intercooling tubing and hoses to route, make their ways around the feed and the exit um, to the intercooler. So the first thing you're going to do is real simple. Uh, we're going to remove these air deflectors here, remove them entirely, and then I'll show you how to modify this piece here. And we'll go from there. Okay, that's it. And um, next, we're gonna need more clearance to come around here. So we're gonna trim this area of the core support. It's just plastic, it's very easy. It's really the only part in our system where it requires any cutting, really, of any, of any kind. This is, everything else is a little touch this, trim that, but right here, we're gonna have to massage this through here. I'll do that video live so you can see all of what it takes, how much you gotta do, and how it should look when you're done. So the front mount intercooler, ours is the largest on the market for the maximum amount of heat exchange to make the maximum amount of power. Okay, that being said, we use large intercooler tubing, large intercooler hoses, and we need to clearance these sections on both sides, the passenger and the driver's side. Um, you can see where the factory push pins were for the air uh, deflectors here. They're good guides, and you'll see that we're going to trim this area here. Now, I put in the instructions, you know, on what tool to use, but we still see people um, that can do a better job of what they're doing here. So I'm going to show you the tool I use, which is an air tool. It's got this cookie-type sanding wheel on it. This will basically burn and cut through this plastic like butter. I mean, it's just going to go right through it. The overall goal is we're going to take this area right here. We're going to open it. We're going to smooth it, make sure it's not, not sharp so it doesn't cut our hose, and make sure there's enough clearance. So I'm going to keep it live and run through this so you can see really how easy it is, and we'll go from there. So using these as a guide, of course. And remember, you can't, whatever you cut off, you can't put back on. So do less and then add more. Do less and add more. Don't just overdo it the first time around. Use a great deal of skill here. So, you know, have a good eye for quality. Make it look like, you know, it came that way. Don't, don't make it look like it's just cut up with a chainsaw or something silly looking. Just get it right.
So take a look. Round it all through the pocket right here so we can go back around this way with our hose. Let me grab that hose, I'll show you what we're gonna be doing. This is gonna be something like this. And we're all done. So we did that real nice. Looks good. No sharp edges there to cut our hose. Put your hand there. It's good. Okay. So it looks pretty good so far. We'll do the other side and as we go to mount the intercooler, if we think we need a little bit more, we'll do the same there so we, so we got the right fit and the right look we're looking for. Now we're on to the driver's side. Same thing, has the same two locators, kind of right in front of there, right down to here. Uh, you know, I have experience, so, I, so I've done this a handful of times, so I know where I'm going, but hopefully when you watch this video, you'll be able to go right to it. Take my blower, same thing. really good okay, so next step is going to be um, drilling our holes in the core support here to mount the intercooler to it's two holes very simple uh, lining it up it makes a difference between it looking good and looking great I want to show you something real quick if you see on the intercooler the brackets are offset some if you put it on the wrong way let me show you what it'll look like see how far it sticks out and you're not going to be able to get your grill on. Okay. Turn it around so the offsets are facing forward. I'm going to put it on here. See how it sits? All the way back in. So that part's real simple. So get it on there. The sit there is just fine. And then what I do, I take my grill, put the grill up to where it would be. Okay, and then you can move it around. It's actually designed so if you get it right, the weld should be pretty much straight on like that. All right, so the factory Jeep grill will actually cover most of the end tank. It will just look something similar to that. So, real simple, leave that there like that. Gently remove the grill. Get 
I'm going to center this on here. Center in here. Got our one. Trying to move it. And the other. We're going to remove this and we're going to drill some through bolts. All right, so I'm going to go with my, I got a 5 16 drill bit. I'm going to start going through here. It's so it's, you know, there's a piece with this. A, se a section over here and a section on the back side. I'm just going to go through the front side. When I get to the back side, I'm going to put the wood just in case you go through and the drill bit grabs. You don't want it to jump forward and pierce the AC condenser. Okay, so first side, no problem. Get to the back side, hold this, go through. If it touches here, no problem. Real simple.